Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of Valheim with me baby dragon over here. So I've done um, quite a bit of building off, off camera and the reason being is uh, our current place is uh, quite spread out for, for a solo player. So I thought um, with uh, one of our previous videos as well where we talked about the uh, future expansion ideas for uh, for for the docks and, and having some shortcuts and stuff. So I've done I've done a little bit of building. Um, so here we go. Let's take a look. This is what we what we have so far. Uh, it is by all means not a finalized uh, base just yet. It's it's quite a huge project that we have going on here. So I suppose every few episodes we'll we'll do a little bit of uh, expansion for the base as well. What we have currently is we have kind of like a workshop and a smithy area, which is the structure itself is finished. Uh, however, I don't have all the uh, what are these th those kilns and and also the the smelters um, uh, down yet uh, so this is kind of what it looks like here we got the forge area and with some reinforced chests and here's the the workbench area and I was thinking thinking of putting all the um, those smelters just down over here maybe around uh, so it's a little bit out of the way I suppose but let's jump back outside and before jumping into the main main section of the base I have a very temporary uh, abort bit over here so whilst I was building this area up over here we had a skeleton attack and um, I have some videos in the read up on reddit before as well that in those events the um, skeletons uh, or, or any of those mobs should primarily only target you however in my case even though when I ran over here those skeletons were going after my base in in all all directions and uh, let my one star boars loose uh, loose as well and pretty much all of them were murdered they di didn't get to my uh, farm over here um, however all the boars were gone and I was quite <laughs> little little frustrated until uh, the next day when I was just walking around here doing a bit of farming I noticed there was a boar here and for some reason it wasn't attacking me even though I was next to him and then I, that's when I realized it was actually one of my uh, baby boars that I had grown up into into an adult and um, I tried sort of uh, you know pushing him back but that didn't work so I had to put down those temporary um, walls over here or fences and to try and push him uh, a little bit closer to the base space itself here and this foundation here as well all this uh, the stone walls there they're all they're all temporary but um, so I had my one star uh, I need another another boar and I managed to fortunately find one of the two, two stars so I bred them and now I have if I go back into this view I have a whole bunch of two star boars and that is great for uh, uh, for meat production, which you, which I will need in uh, some of the more advanced um, uh, recipes for for food as well, so uh, it's quite good to keep those pores around here. Um, right, so okay, what if uh, let's start from the docks because that's kind of like the the first thing we we built over here. Um, again, this is not the final layout and uh, what it's gonna look like but I just wanted to get the foundation and the rough sort of uh, idea down so essentially we're gonna have um, docks over here for for quite a few boats uh, I think two or three will be will be more than enough it's a it's a bit of an overkill for a solo but it just looks really nice to have them here and then what the idea is once I come back from the from the sailing trips I can um, without uh, jumping on the boat I can just look at this take the items that I want, turn around, put it on the cart, grab the cart, and then we will have like a little uh, entrance that goes straight to the base. I'll, I'll still have to do a bit of um, leveling to the ground and put the uh, uh, stone stove payment down as well. And here's another entrance. So what I was thinking, it, it might be a little difficult to maneuver the boats around that side. Uh, if we are coming from sort of that direction over there and um, so we may have a couple more dock areas in, in, in here as well so right let's go back in so there's two two entrances from the uh, from the bay area 
and then we will get right here which will be the heart of our base so <clears throat> sorry if i brought back quite a bit of um, metal from 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 the adventures i can quickly wheel it in here and put it in the metal uh, metal chest over here or start straight like um, smelting them uh, if there's anything else let's say food related i'm thinking of having some sort of like a like a tavern in the middle over here to use up some of that space or maybe even on this side because um, i'm not sure where i where exactly do i want the boars and also the farm because we're not going to keep it there uh, that far uh, in the future but for now this will do and then we have this grand entrance over here a little staircase that goes up and, and this will kind of be the um, sort of my area we got the key when we get to the home with the keys on the on the wall here uh, we've got a, a nice little bed some rugs a dining table uh, fireplace and all this stuff here is temporary because I'm moving things back and forth uh, so that's sort of what it looks from the from the inside I do need to put a light in here as well and uh, yeah it's quite quite spacious um, on the outside over here I wanted to have a bit of a kind of like a 360 walkway around the base so if there's enemies um, that I've gotten in into the docks area or anywhere else I don't have to really go down I can just shoot them with the arrows from 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 here and um, I was thinking of mirroring this side of the base um, toward, towards here, but it's, as I said before, it's still a work in progress. I'm not really sure how I want to go about it, so um, for the time being, um, I'm just going to leave it and uh, we have this little walkway through here. And we also have a bit of a shortcut that goes straight down to the, to the smithy area and the workshop area over here, in case we need to quickly go up and down. And then eventually, We'll have a nicer path leading to the main uh, portal area there as well. Now the style I wanted to go for was a bit more sort of like a medieval Japanese because um, that seemed quite quite an interesting uh, style to go with. A uh, little, bit, little bit different from the typical uh, longhouse um, style builds that I that I like to do. Um, but yeah, it took quite a, uh, quite a long time to build actually I think. Um, because I didn't know exactly how I wanted to build things and uh, you know all the, the side things that I had to do as well um, by the way everything is uh, here is farmed by myself I did not cheat in anything all the stone wood uh, was uh, well I did quite a few trips to uh, get all the uh, items that I need to need to build this thing my food um, not food wood farm is over here um, I've planted them pretty close to each other uh, so that once I knock down maybe th two, three or four um, beaches like, like like this one here then the rest will it, it will kind of be like a domino effect and they, they'll start falling down um, pretty pretty nicely anyways that's um, that's the base tour um, oh I think I forgot to show one thing there was a uh, which will be, the, I think, either a storage area or some more um, secondary portals. So there's a little staircase that, that goes down here. So we got all this space here that would be a shame to waste. Um, so I'm thinking of maybe turning it into an armory, a uh, storage area, or as I said before, maybe uh, it, uh, put down some portals here uh, that are right underneath the spawn area well I mean the another spawn area but the uh, uh, my my bedroom over here but okay yeah that should be pretty much everything I think um, when it comes to the base tour uh, I still have all those things up there and I won't take them down until well uh, until I need those resources I don't have a lot of storage right now so once I have an idea and I want to expand the base I will most likely start tearing down the other buildings over there just to help, um, well, hopefully help with the performance as well because the frames um, to drop a little bit when I'm, when I'm at the base, not drastically, but just a little bit. Now that we've um, seen the base upgrades, what I was thinking is to visit um, some more 
some more of the of the planes and and try and expand uh not expand but explore a little bit outwards as well and see if we can spot any of the of the newer biomes so what i was thinking is to try and sail since we are on this side of, uh, this side of the map um i'm thinking of going more towards maybe a little bit east or or southeast uh in in general direction maybe maybe a little bit like this way and and see what's around here and then eventually maybe uh, maybe south um but um yeah we'll see we'll see how it goes now what i typically like to do when i go out with my with my long boat is to take uh, enough materials with me so that i can uh, plop down one of those portals in case i need to teleport back for whatever the reason is i also like to take a uh, a few potions with me so i think for this one we'll also go and grab let's jump over here that's just a temporary portal with my other main base because it made it a lot easier to um transport the the items between what i did before it was using the the guard going back and forth and then i was like this is taking way too long and uh, it suddenly clicked to me that hey why don't i just plop down one of those portals so it would be way much uh, way much easier and that's what i did so um Oh, this actually just reminded me, I still have this bone mass portal over here, which takes us down here. Hmm. And there's an extra portal, which I could... I could just take this one and go down. Well, it's an option. I think I'm just gonna leave it here. Actually, no. I'm gonna take this one. And put it in our new main base. So we'll just quickly teleport through here and then we will put one down let's see where do we have space oh some lag spikes over here and let's try and put this here that was called bone mass right no caps let's see it works it works perfect now another thing that i was um thinking of doing i have so many portals like everywhere um so if we look at the map one over here i have one over here i have another one here 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 one another one here and here and oh they're, they're just everywhere and um they were useful very useful before but now that i've already played uh, well uh, put quite a few hours in this game I, I no longer need or want to visit those areas so i think with the these two we'll have to essentially maybe sail somewhere here so we can pick up this one here that one and then the swamp two uh, pick these up on the way back and then pick up maybe this black three as well which is black forest three um, I think with bone mass we can currently leave it uh, because there is quite a bit of iron or the crypt still in there one two three four five of them which we could mine out and then um, I do still have a, a long boat here as well we could load it up and then uh, on our way back oh I definitely I don't have a base here um, and we can bring it back through here oh and all the way yeah, I think that's what we're going to do. We're going to leave this one. We're not going to grab these ones today. But we will go and take down the mountain one. So that will give me the resources for at least two teleporters. Uh, yeah, let's do this first. Um, I've got nothing on me right now. So I need to teleport back to my old main base. So I still have a lot of teleporters there. I'll show you in a second as soon as we've we've got there food we should have a little bit for the time being a little bit open doesn't matter and there's our old main okay let's jump through here so this base over here was the like the very first base I built when I started playing Malheim and um, it is still up so I do need to take all this down and save uh, bring the resources over to my other one uh, oh, we still have the pigs, little farm there, and the cart, and maybe we still have, oh, we still have the raft as well. Alright, anyways, doesn't matter. 
we wanted to go where do you want to go we wanted to go mountain right so mountain should be here right so i think the best way to do it since there's quite a bit of resources here is to take everything above down first because i'm not going to be able to carry everything down so um what, what I can do is I can take everything down here and the last items that I'm able to carry I will just walk down to the well run down to the trader and then you just use the portal over there but with all this stuff here let's just grab oh oh wrong button uh, let's just grab all this all right so we've taken down um, all of the well the whole base on the mountain there and we've got all the resources so I am just gonna make some temporary boxes here and we'll drop these in and we will come back for this at a later date i think i'll just do it off camera wait so we've got to grab this uh, teleporter here actually as well so now we are done so this means i will have resources that i need to build two new uh, teleporters so I'll put one in the base over here and then I'll take the resources with me when we are sailing more towards this location. So let me just grab the uh, teleport back to base and then I'll uh, see you guys once we're ready. All right, so we are almost ready to, to head out. Uh, we've got the resources for the portals and we will place... <clears throat> we will place one temporarily just over here. And we'll call, call, we'll call it the, um, uh, let's say, explore. And now what we need is we will need some more food. We've got the potions. The only one actually that we don't have is the, um, which one is it? That's the poison resistant one. Now this is all the food. Okay. Um, let me just go quickly and find it where exactly it is. All right, I found. I managed to find my my potions uh, chest over here, and we'll grab ten of these bad boys. Um, final thing, I also grabbed the abyssal harpoon in case we spot any of those. Um, what were they called again? Serpents. Yes, I have already got one, um, but we will keep an eye out in case we find any more now i cannot think of anything else that we might need we've got the main thing is the stuff for the portal which is here uh, oh yeah foods we need some buried food so let's make some let's check the recipes real quick i think we'll take some fish wraps and we'll take some lox meat by and also make some blood pudding actually as well since i've got the got the resources for it okay we've got some pie over here uh, some thistle what else do we need we needed blood bags we need it let's just take all of these actually and see what we can make uh, nothing oh barley of course we are gonna need some barley as well which I think is still in the other base so I'll have to probably jump back and forth a couple of times. Uh, okay, let's make the blood pudding first. We'll make a few of those uh, blood puddings. We'll make some more fish wraps and some more lox pie as well. So I'll be back as soon as we've completed making those. All right, and here we are with all the preparation done. We have got two sets of food actually. I've got the A-list food, which is the best for exploration. I only have three uh, fish wraps over here, so I made some sausages as well to go with it. And I also have the, the B-tier food. So that's essentially when I'm just running around, not doing anything particular. Uh, like now, for example, preparing. Uh, we've got all the potions we need and uh, portal stuff. And also a bit of food, uh, a bit of wood so we can set up a quick, quick base if we need to. So let's grab this boat over here we'll try and reverse out and hopefully we are not going to destroy this boat now i did skip the night and uh, so we can have a nice clear day and yeah i think i 
two still have to... Hmm. Huh. Yeah, that's not ideal. I think I still have to... Oh, no. Clear out some of those rocks over here. So that we could properly reverse out from here without... You know, destroying the boat. And that shouldn't be a problem. Because it's quite shallow over here, so we should be able... Well, hopefully, able to dig it out. Anyways, I also have dug this little uh, trench over there. So that we could... Come on. So that we are able to sail right in here. Try and turn around. It's not the easiest with uh, these tight spaces around here. But let's see if this rock's going to be in the way as well. Probably is, and yes, a you know, kind of little bit, maybe. And we sh well, we should be able to. Turn out. Oh. Just a little scratches on the boat. Oh, that's not good. Oof, painful. Yeah, I do have to make some um, upgrades over here. Anyways, we can... Sail straight through this trench over here. And as I said before, we will start sailing towards the east. I'm um, sorry, west, southwest. I think I said east before for some reason. I'm not really sure why. Okay, I think I may have to just repair this ship. But yeah, I'll quickly uh, repair it. And we will start heading out so I'll, I'll time lapse the rest of this until we we reach the shore so i'll see you uh, very shortly So we have reached to the next island here, it seems. Uh, what I'm thinking of doing is, since it's coming to a night time, I've spotted... Oh, there's a village here as well. I've spotted a bit of black forest there. I don't want to leave my ship in the swamp here. But this black forest location seems pretty cute, actually, to put down our portal and go and explore... I uh, started exploring this island over here as well. So, what we are going to do... Find a nice spot... Well, actually, this island might be good. But now nah, then we would have to cross the... Cross the water all the time, so... We'll go somewhere... Somewhere on that side. Let's hope these leeches don't destroy our boat whilst we're getting there. So we'll go over there, put down a temporary... Like a small little... Uh, FOB over there. And, and yeah, well, I'm just gonna teleport back to home then. And skip the night. And then we'll explore this island once it's daytime again. We've just skipped the night. It took us about a, about a day actually in game time to, to reach this island over here. So what my plan is, is to kind of not to skip all those islands, but to a bit of like island hopping. And see what's around here. So it seemed on this island the plains is a little bit bigger. So I'm quite interested to go and check out what's around here. Let's see which one's better. Health 90, stamina. Yeah, let's take one of those. And equip these. And let's go and explore, let's explore the island and see what interesting we can find. I did reach about... Um, I did read, read about those um, totems that I found from uh, from one of the fueling towers and it seems... Oh, there we go, here's our first one. And uh, those totems are actually to summon the fifth boss. Oof, that hurts. So, I've got one already. Uh, maybe we can find... Oof, mosquitoes. Yeah, they are a little bit annoying. So yeah, we are hoping to find 
two more of those totems. So then maybe in one of the next few episodes we can uh, we can defeat the fifth boss. Um, but alright, I'm just gonna time lapse it until we find something interesting. Oh, that seems quite a big village over there. So, and those rocks are very interesting as well. So what I think I'll do is I'll go and check out what those rocks are. And then we'll come back down to this village. Seems there's another one there, maybe. All right, yeah, let's do that. I'll go up there first. And then we'll see what's what's down in the village. And hopefully find another, another one of those totems as well. I think this is quite a good... Oh no, it's saving. Uh, quite a good chance to actually get some more black metal as well because we we are missing to upgrade some of those things all right so those rocks are pretty interesting to build on and mystical altar offer wait is that the is that one of the is that the sp spawner for the fifth fifth boss offering bow um five of those okay well i have a feeling we might have just found the the summoning area for the fifth boss i mean it sure looks like it but i'm not sure because it hasn't popped up on the map yet um yeah well let's just mark it mark it on the map just in case uh we also have a base here it's called explorer and let's mark this as well potential last boss there we go all right let's go and explore this this village down below here as well and then we'll have a look around the the rest of the plains over here too oof i don't want to take on on them all at the same time so let's do that ouch that hurts yeah oh it's a one star that's why okay we definitely gotta be a bit more careful over here And there we go. All right. I think, yeah, with those villages, we're going to take it nice and slow. Especially if there's more one star or two stars. So that was... Yeah, there's quite a few of them here, isn't it? Let's pick out this one. No, we missed. Ah. All right, that's another few. It's another sh shaman over there. It's not a problem at all. And all right, let's take this guy. Now I kind of wish I brought better arrows for this mission. I am still just using the wooden ones, but I think we'll be fine if we just take it slow. Oh, there's another one there, and another one. Oh, a few of them. Yeah, I think we'll just go melee on these guys. Alright, let's... I still hear a few. I thought I cleared most of them by now. Let's see. Okay, there's another totem here. Perfect. Just collect all this. All the black metal. And then we'll find the last... Huh. Okay. Ooh, he's one of the spear guys. And he's gone. Alright, so that is totem number... Well, we have the space for it. Totem number two. I think... I heard someone shooting at us. Hmm. 
that's odd. Um, let's see what we can... Just chuck the money. Oh, there's still another fuel in here. Is he inside? He is inside. Oof. Maybe. No, we can't really shoot through here. Alright, and he's gone. I like the little villages that they have here as well. They look pretty cool. And let's just grab... Ugh, okay. Don't need this. We'll take that. Don't think we have enough space. Oh well. Let's see what's up in here. Oh. Well, nothing. And... Don't really see anything else interesting in here. I guess that was one of the smaller ones. Wait, wasn't there like a field? Yeah, there it is. And some more black metal. We'll just pick all this up as well. Right, so let's see where else we can go. I think we spotted something in this general direction. Best have the, the shield ready for these guys. And he's out. Oh yeah, there is another village over here. Perfect. Perhaps we could find another totem here as well. Let's go and check it out, see what's inside. I have a feeling this might be slightly smaller village, since I can't really hear them. Oh, we do need to eat something. Let's take one of those. Oh, there is another one here. And a couple of these guys too. Oof. Yeah, these guys are no joke. I think one on one or if there's like two of them is, is doable. Anything more than two or once they have like one stars, that's where you, uh, at least I, uh, I think I would prefer to run and, and pick them out one by one. Right, so we've got two of those, we've got one at base. That makes it three, we just need two more. And then we can try to summon, actually. I don't think we're going to do it in this episode, but but um, anyways, let's have a look around what else we can, we can find over here. You know what? I think I'm gonna go to my uh, that little teleporting area over there and just drop off some stuff. And I would hate to run into the other side of the island and just to realize that I don't have enough space for some of those things. Um, so yeah, we'll drop off the heavy stuff and also uh, I think the the poison uh, poison resistance meat as well, since uh, we are not going to need any in here. So yeah, quick detour and then we'll be back on back on track. All right, so we've just killed a couple of loxes over there, and and I think um, uh, this village, uh, once we take it down, oh, there's one of those big ones there as well, um, will be one of our last ones for this episode. So let's try and take a few of them out from distance. And then we'll get a little closer. Oh, it's a monster as well. Oh. Oof. More mosquitoes. How many arrows do we have? Not a lot. So we'll, let's try and aggro those. We'll we'll use me melee instead. Ah. And there we go. This one's down. Did I already aggro? Yeah, I think we've aggroed a little few more than we needed to. Let's see if we can jump up somewhere here. Ah, much better. Alright, so that's quite a few down. Let's see if we can take a few more. It's quite a few of them in this village here. Okay, oof. 
maybe that's too many. Yeah, that's uh, that's three of them, and um, one of them being the spearman. So back a little bit. Oh, this one star too. Yeah, we'll just jump here if we can. Ooh. Still, all right. Okay, I think we may have to just jump down. It's gonna be impossible if they're running around like this all the time. And maybe try and kite them a little bit. Oh. That was close. Alright. Get the resources and we'll advance on their on the base there. Okay, we killed quite a few, but it just sounds like there's a absolute army over there. Let's see, one, two, three. Alright, and here we go. I think we've cleared out this village over here. I'll quickly grab the resources that we can. And now let's have a look if we can find any totems in here as well. So far I haven't noticed any. But maybe, just maybe, we'll find one. those a lot of black metal but sadly no no totems for us unless there's anything on this side over here but no well that's unfortunate but that's all right we managed to uh, do quite a bit in this episode and uh, updated you guys with the with the with the new base that took quite a bit of time uh, we've sailed all the way here and I think we've found the the final boss uh, summoning summoning area um, we've got three totems now as well, just missing two, and then in the future updates, um, in, sorry, in the future episodes, uh, we are going to try and defeat the final boss of uh, Valheim that's currently available. So thank you very much for joining into this episode, hope you guys had fun and um, see you in the next one.